What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. Guys, I want to welcome you back to PGA Tour 2K21 Career Mode. We are moving on now to the Tall Palms Classic at the Jamariah Club. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Now, one thing I got to mention before I get started on this uh, video, ladies and gentlemen, is that... Um, uh, this, this, actually, there's a couple things I really want to talk about really quick. First things first is, this is the first time I'm, I'm basically recording this game on the new PC. I recorded that, the first 10 parts, prior to doing, like, anything. So, like, on the old PC. And then I literally brought everything over to this PC. It didn't save my game. It saved my, like, my progress. Like, see how I'm a level 13 now? It saved all that. And it saved, like things I've unlocked to a degree, <clears throat> but it didn't save my actual character and my career. So what I had to do was skip that intro, start right in the PGA Tour, but I still have the level to prove it up in the top right corner. And then I had to play four rounds of golf, essentially, to make my way to where I needed to go. Uh, and we're right back where we started. That's the first thing I want to mention. Number two, second thing I want to mention, I ended up, as I was uh, messing around getting back to where we were, I did end up adjusting and fixing uh, if you look here, I ended up fixing the player. And now it's funny because no one, no one had told me this in the first, I'd say, seven parts of the video. But on part eight, after I, of course, figured out what what I needed to do, everyone was telling me how to adjust uh, your character. And in order to do that, what was going on is all I had set was the the uh, the visuals. For casual, now casual is essentially like just play a quick round of golf or whatever. I had to select first round. My first round was set to default. So literally every round now is set to, is essentially disabled right now since we're not doing it. Um, so we've gone ahead and now it actually works in our tours. So that's good. Uh, so for those who eventually did tell me, don't worry, I did find out, but it's funny how it, I figured it out afterwards. Anyway, right, literally right, I figured it out. I was about to record this video and I saw, I looked at the comments for the uh, like part eight and nine, because as of now, part 10 isn't posted yet. But I'm like, oh, everyone's correcting me. Oh, they're going to correct me for the next little bit. But it's good. We figured it out. And I'm glad we figured it out. That's one last thing we've got to worry about. And finally, one last thing I want to talk about before we get started on this round, ladies and gentlemen, is I got to say, there is a lot of people who are not happy with how I'm playing this game. Uh, not so much how I'm playing the game, but more so how I'm addressing terms. I never thought terms would be so upsetting to people. Um, for example, I got, I got ribbed for saying light rough instead of first cut. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not a golfer anymore. I used to be when I was like 11, but I haven't played it since like maybe I was 14. So you gotta cut me a little slack. And second, you know, I had some people bitching about like, oh, like I said, oh, this looks pretty flat. Like I'll say that on the green, like oh, it looks pretty flat. I don't know if they're referring to, and they'll be like, oh, I can't watch this series anymore. It's so frustrating. I'm like, well, what do you want from me? You know, it, it's like you want me to be amazing. Like literally, I, I start a series and I immediately have to be amazing at it. And if I don't know the terminology, that's like worth like you might as well just say, oh, let's banish him. He's you know, we're, we're not going to support him or anything or, or or give him any insight. I would rather some people say, Dan, it's actually called this. You should call it this instead of being like, oh, you idiot. I can't take this guy anymore. He's calling everything wrong. Like instead of having a little fit, maybe try and steer me in the right direction because I will say things correctly if I'm told what I need to be saying right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, I don't understand why people get so upset real quickly over things like that. It makes you not want to be a part of that community. Like everyone who's played like, you know, various golfing games like or golfs in real life frequently, let somebody in. Otherwise you make your community seem like they're not going to, they're not very welcoming. So if, 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 you, if I don't know certain things and if I'm saying things incorrectly about anything, let me know, but don't be an ass about it. It's completely unnecessary, I think. Um, I think it'll be better if we just, you know, like I said, now I won't call it light rough, even though I was just calling it light rough because that's what I've always addressed it, addressed it as in my past. Um, light rough is light rough, but now it's first cut. I didn't know that was the official term. Now I know. So chill out <laughs> and let's just play some damn golf. All right. So I'm going to do my best to, to play the game is how I play it. I'm sorry. I'm not as good as some other people, but it makes you got to give me a chance to get better at the game. That's what I've never understood is people are very uh, off putting when it comes to that, that you have to be amazing and know everything and do all the research possible. But the thing is, it doesn't matter how much research you do, you still need to be able to learn by doing. So you gotta give me that opportunity. So I haven't played a golf game in ages. Like I said, the last golf game I think I played was Mario Golf for the N64. Do you think they're gonna focus on that kind of stuff? No. So it's a golf sim, guys. Let me get into it. All right, so anyway, like I said, 
go ahead. And if I'm saying something wrong, correct me, but do it nicely. There's no need to be an ass about it. Like I said, it makes me not want to become part of the community. Anyway, let's get started. Sorry, I went on pretty long there. Let's get started with uh, the next one, Tall, Pl 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 Tall Palms Classic. Let's go. This PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Tall Palms Classic is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And down on the course, it's hello to John McCarthy. Thanks, Luke. So pleased to be here at the Jim Mariah Club today. And what a way to start your day with this long par four, staring deep into the downtown area. Oh, my goodness. Can't wait to see what happens here. This is a nice course, just judging from the initial initial looks. Now, from here on out, guys, I, as you guys know, in my past gameplays, whether it be literally it doesn't matter what i'm playing the rule of thumb is if i get something new and it doesn't affect you uh like like for example if i'm picking up armor i won't necessarily switch armor but one thing i will do is um i will wipe the floor so to speak and as soon as i get like you know anything new i have to essentially equip it so from now on anything we unlock we're gonna uh, the rule of thumb is we're gonna have to equip it if it looks stupid it doesn't if it matches it doesn't it doesn't match it we have to put it on I thought it'd make it a little more funny, a little more enjoyable in that that regard. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's tee off. So, like I said, in the next one, uh, that's kind of how we're going to do it uh, from here on out. So, we're going to go ahead and start this off. Strong, strong. Oh, and one other thing I was saying wrong was I kept I kept saying tailwind, even though it was going into the, into the wind, which is a headwind. It's not that I didn't know that. It's just that my head, I kept saying tailwind. I don't know why. Uh, maybe just in my fluster bit. But I, I know. I wasn't trying to aggravate everyone, but everyone gets so aggravated. Just... Take a deep breath and wow. play some that goddamn golf. Striped. Here we go. Right down the middle, looking pretty solid. Not too bad. Feeling spicy. Second Feeling good, you know. First. All right, we can get... There's a strong win, though, like I said. Headwind. See, I'm making mention of it. I'm, I almost want to overdo it. That's gonna. I'm going to overdo it a bit. Oh, that was way... Oh, that is horrid. Pretty sure that one's headed left. It's a pretty it's thick, to rough... That, that approach didn't hit the mark. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that Sorry, one. man. I, I The thing is, I played this... Like I said, when I played this to catch out. up, I was just nailing it. I was doing well. I actually almost got a hole in one. I'm like, no, don't get a hole in one now. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be... Right when I'm not recording? Are you kidding me? All right, we just passed it. No, Dare I say, it. this looks pretty, pretty oh, flat. Coming up for this fella. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not flat in the slightest. Dan, you're such a fucking idiot. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why I get so upset about it. It's just, it's just funny how angry people get over something so trivial. This one's tracking. Oh! oh throw the club. Here comes the putter throw. Wait! Putt. He's restrained himself. Maybe this will be a new Dan Q8000. Well done. <laughs> All right. Well, we all. Oh, that's not good. Off with the bogey, the that I just realized. Tragic. You got a lot of holes to So I just realized. Um, I messed up a contract because I got bogey. Like I ended up. Uh, the the contracts were slightly different from when I last played. So I did. I did the same kind of contract. But here's the thing. I had to do three contracts or three three different tournaments or whatever, and I had to. Uh, one of the stipulations was to make sure I didn't get above par in any of them at least on two of the three and in my last one i ended up getting a random bogey which means i got a bogey there that's not ideal so i'm out I'm, i won't be able to get the sponsorship bonus unfortunately because of that but this is horrid it's not even on the green that wind is murder didn't quite have the right stuff there coming right. up a little short with that effort not bad though a splash is gonna it's a heavy win though. I don't want to go too much, but I do want to get it past it. Oh, that was so stupid. Oh my god. Well, at least I'm on the green now. Make this one. This it's is for par. par, and that one looks it might be pretty much on the money based on how it tilts. Ooh, actually a little to the left. Let's hope for the best. Come on, boo-boo. Get in the hole. Yes! That'll help your school card. We needed that. Now we're down at par, aren't we? No, we're not. We need to get a birdie. I'm not. 
That's not good. Alright, that's okay. We'll figure it out. This is a par 5. Usually the par 5s are ones I really make up for. Oh, fast. It's funny because when I was playing by myself, like not recording, I mean, I still got it though right where I needed to. Um, when I was playing, you know, oh, come on, man. Not in the first cut. There we go. That is probably a great place to line it up because she's going to go pretty wild. I'm still going fast, but I was getting perfect shots when I was playing on my own. That's what I mean. The whole, whole recording and commentary thing is like an added distraction. Try and get back in the well, swing of things. Shot. Getting ready to play their third. All right, this is might carry it, so I'm going a little on the lower side. Uh, yeah, I should have slowed it down a little. The wind probably this carried that a dirty. teeny bit. That is looking straight on. Oh, it's veering to the left slightly. Like, what am I supposed to say? You know what I mean? Like, that's such a dumb oh, thing to criticize me. What am I supposed to say? It looks pretty flat. It does. It looks even. Well, hold. It's not like I'm saying the earth is flat. <laughs> and unfortunately dropping oh, my God. This guy's an idiot. The card. These people, man. Must be great at parties. Let's see what happens here. Yes, it's frustrating. Strong, strong wind. So I'm hoping that... Oh, that was slow again. But that might actually be in our favor because so of how heavy the wind is. For the sanctuary of the fairway. I'm hoping. Every, sometimes he's, he'll say that and it'll get an unlucky bounce. And you'll hit the rough of some sort. Four victories so far this season. See, this wind is super strong. So I've oh, what I should have done was seems to have chosen the three wood. Change my shot slightly in, to shoot it into the wind to try and make it go a little straighter. But we clear the green. I'll take it. It's not stopping though. Stop. Oh my it was goodness. Never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Wind well, the wind was too strong, bro. In this part of the golf course. He's sinking this again. It's looking good. Ooh. And down she goes from outside Clean shot, range. buddy. Nicknamed the postman because he always seems to deliver in the Ryder Cup, Rich. Ian Poulter, a great character, a fantastic player, and a fierce, fierce competitor. Ian Poulter has made it. That's going to be way too much. I can't do a splash. The Americans in the Ryder Flop Cup. is way too much. That that. Well, that might actually be okay. There's hardly a player out there this is for birdie. This is going to be a tough shot. Gets the most out of his game. He's even acknowledge it. Oh, man. That was close. I overcompensated for wins. But, hey, I'll take par. I've got to I got a, at least I'm even right now. Oh, I didn't look at this, the leader leaderboard right there. They're hitting me up with a three wood, but I don't really know why. It's a little fast, but we're going into the wind, so that's perfect. As long as I can avoid that bunker there. Skip it. Nice. That's buttery. I'll take it. Right down the center. Let's have a look at Jim Furyk from earlier. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Even for the day, trying to crack into the top ten. It's like directly right. That was a little. Oh, that was perfect. Oh man, that's a sharp win. Look at that. I could have kept going. I think this is the strongest win we've had. It still puts me in a decent spot. I could probably make that putt from there. That one up onto the Get that birdie. Of putts from there and that'll be a pretty good hole. I'll say like a tiny light and adjustment to the right. To move into the top five on the leaderboard. That is beautiful. It's getting that top five, baby. Give me that birdie. Tweet, tweet. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Not wrong. And nothing wrong with that at all. One that one bogey was... That put and me in a bad start, a but... Shots up at this stage. Yeah, so far, four under... Seems to be the, the 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 number to beat, which isn't too bad. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Strong, so I'm not going to be too afraid to do this. <laughs> that was pummeled. Great That's drive. beautiful. This shot coming from around the 150-yard marker. 
Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. That was slow. Oh, and it was considered fast. But I think I overcompensated enough to the point... It, I could have kept going. I'll still take it. That's a decent shot. That dog will hunt. That's actually looking pretty crisp. Be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. Nice, right on the money. Oh, what a great stroke! Beautiful. Being built now. That's back -to -back you know it is, Two baby. Row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Just one off the lead after that hole. Teeing off here at the seventh. Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. We can use this. It's kind of tilting. It's going northeast, so we can kind of have it going down the, the line for us. I mean, that was basically yeah, straight. Because we were a bit fast, it's going to be a little bit to the right. All right, this is going to help it along. I think that might be nice. Oh, man. Skip it, skip it. Good bounce onto the green. Oh, I'm hitting the edge. That little slope, but it's rolling nice. It's a long putt, and well, we're going uphill. Shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. This is, this is a massive green, isn't it? Putts. Good one just to get close. Ugh, yeah, it's looking weird. I don't even know how I would do it. It's probably got to go up to the right a little. Let's test it. Oh, but then it curves back out. I'm actually going to put it dead on and see what happens. Oh, man. Go. That's the right pace. Oh, you little. Just three feet to the that would have been a good eagle shot. This is still for birdie. Nice stroke. But can you imagine nice that went line. in? Fourth birdie of the day. And with that, I had to drop it under. under That's still dumb, though, man. That shouldn't have been John, you're an down issue. Man? What's happening? Well, I'm down on the ninth hole now. This is Sergio Garcia setting up his next shot. Oh, sorry, I skipped it, bro. I didn't mean to. And with that hole I wanted to see us, that putt. Let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. I am tied for first with Kevin Kilsner, Kistner, excuse me, and Adam Scott. Adam Just Scott is only on hole eight, so nine. we're on the Please same eight, or same hole yeah. right now. Let's we'll see where this is going. That's going to be very vicious, so I definitely want to drop it. That might be money. That might be right where I need it. Probably could have gone a little bit to more the to the left. Not as much, but that is a great lie. I will take it. Or if it'll stop rolling, not a great lie anymore. I can still get that. Well, this be a big putt to make. All right, looks like it's going uphill slightly. Oh, that is too good. You cannot beat that. Looking really good. Ooh. Now that's a good putt to that's buttery. And with that, he'll move to four under par. There you go. That's a good place to be in. We're only in the front in nine, too. That, See what I mean? Adam Scott, though, he going. will come out. He's He's oh, been a force to be reckoned with. Their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they Massive wind here that we're going into. I don't know how much it'll adjust it. Uh, the first shot, when you have this much open fairway, it doesn't matter that much. As long as you get it right down the middle. There's a bit room. There's room for error, essentially. Time to take a look at Ian Poulter's effort. Second shot here on the ninth. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh! Great <laughs> shot. He looks humble about it. He's like, yep, that'll do. I can't see them not making birdie here, Luke. Four in a row. You're on some sort of a roll. Okay, I'm going to do about that. There's a good headwind here, so I'm going to hopefully use it to my advantage. Actually, it didn't do as much as I thought. I didn't have to adjust that much. In fact, it, went, it, was, because, it was because I swung too quick. I still... Ooh. Great, great well, shot, though, nonetheless. Swing in a groove. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic... It's essentially a straight and narrow watch. shot. And that I'll take it. Number six on the day. And that will take him to five under. Here That'll go, take Rich. us to five under. Late in the championship. To the five Exciting. down under. 
Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. They got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead. Or See, look at that possible. wind. I mean, I, like I said, I can hit into the wind to counteract it a bit, but sometimes you just don't have to worry about it. You sometimes sacrifice distance for that, but you can usually make it up. John, do you have any info down there? We're down on the 11th as Jim Furyk sets up his next shot. Ooh. Ooh almost went in. Lovely shot out of the bunker. That's in tight. How Good much setup. did the win last week give them the confidence to perhaps pull it off again here and go back to back? A massive win last week, looking to double up again this week. I got to say, they're building off all the good things they did last week. A win could oh, It's a bit underpowered, but it might work out. Actually, I could have gone more to the left. That would have been really close, but I really got to worry about I got to work on that. Beauty, didn't you? That's still Just close. Feet remaining to the hole. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Beautiful, Very I'll take impressive. it. It's on a good line. And that puck will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And that will take him to six under. Six under, baby. We're starting to leave them in the past. Position. Two great shots are required here, because this hole is a long par four. Again, this is one of those shots. Oh, whoops. That you can adjust it, which I'm going to do, but I'm not going to shoot it into the wind because I want to get as much distance as I can, and a slight alteration from the wind isn't going to matter that much. This shot from around the 200 yard mark. Pretty good wind back into the player's face. Oh, it's slow. That's way too wide. Ooh, don't hit the sand or the rocks. Oh no. Might get caught up in the brush here. That is brutal. I I not great. No, it messed me up. What are we sitting at? This is our this is for the birdie. So if we can nail this. Oh. Alright, we gotta save this for par here, guys. That really messed us up. Thirteen feet to the hole. close slight adjustment that should do it give me that par i don't know why like we've, people have been talking about this why don't they take the flag out the hole you're supposed to when they putt at least when they're on the green you've arrived at a par four all right strong tailwind here to help it along so i'm just gonna set it right down the middle it's going a little right. Oh, God. I want to do that one over. Please don't go in the water. It's going in the water. Uh, oh, the man. Time, Straight into the water. That sucks. And here we are with the third shot. This is my third shot. Right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Let's hope I can salvage the shot now. This one right. Ugh. I didn't do enough. I gotta, I gotta try and get my shot into the wind. This is, this putt is for par. Oh, this is a, oh, this is a long way from downtown. But your club, John, what's, what's he got in front of him? Well, this looks like around 26 feet. I think I can do that with a slight adjustment. Come on, baby, give it to me. Great now. No, and I get a bogey. That hurts. It does hurt. Just tapping in for Damn. a bogey on this hole. That's my second bogey. But I'm now at five under. I think I might be tied. Let's have a look at this highlight. I could still be holding yeah, first, though. An outstanding shot here. This is his third. I mean, this is for par. So how's this third shot? Well, How are these guys not getting on the green? Beauty, Rich. I don't know. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Now, current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Yeah. Par five is money, though. I'll take it. We needed it to kind of go a little right anyway. Because the, the wind is so strong. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. 
Sorry, guys. Same kind of story. That was pretty good. That should stay exactly where we wanted it to go. Getting ready to play their third. Slight adjustment, nothing crazy. Oh, of course I get it perfect the one time. <laughs> Trying to get to six under now with this putt. Should be a slight adjustment, nothing crazy, I don't think. It is going uphill, but that is right on the money. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. But well, what a way to bounce back. There no, you go. The hole. And that will move him to six under par. So it's like we got par on both those holes. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. I hope that's enough. Oh my God, that strong wind. Oh, that's rough. I, sometimes though I like to chip it in. You know what I mean? Sometimes chipping is more fun than putting. Oh, damn it, Jimmy, you botched that one. Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Splashes are annoying. They're a little too powerful. Do you have a pitch? Let's try a pitch. Pitches are basically like just like perfect arc. I don't want to go too close. That might be money. We'll try that. Go, go, go. Yes. Wow. Tasty little pitch shot. Gets it to what go. was I saying before we this did this? <laughs> all around. I love it. That was beautiful. That's exactly what I needed. I thought I was going to miss right at the end there. So How do you explain that, David? For this player after that hole. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. All right, this, this is a 12. Is so important at this critical time. Go for it. Lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? This is going to be scary, man. This is like one of those things, like, the, does the tailwind, is it going to save me? I'm going to send it. Full send. It might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. Slow down. Oh, that's a little much, but... Honestly, that's okay. I'm far from the green here. Just that's not terrible. Inside rough. I probably could have backed it up. That wind was huge. Wow, real golf, I would have known better, Dan. Probably. Wow. Oh, I needed to ease off. I was trying to go into the wind. Can you imagine if it just plunked? That almost was a... Uh, I think this is just going to go straight in. Slight adjustment just to make myself feel a little better. I'll take it. Man, can you imagine that birdie? I want to get one where it doesn't bounce. It just lands. Swish. You know, in the hole. We're holding tight at on 8 under. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. All right, let's see. We're going to have to really put it into the wind to try and counteract what we're doing here. That should do nicely, though. Going with a three wood here. Ooh, even then. Ooh, it didn't matter. How do you figure that? Huh? How do you figure that? I thought I was into the... It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. No, well, it was not. To but... There, but just didn't commit to it. Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the bit. last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results Too and much. pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? My shot was a little to the right. When you speak this player's name. Save it for par, man. So good all year long. They've got to be one of the favorites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. Come on, baby. This one that should do it. For the hole. Oh! Dude, they did me so and dirty. This one will be for bogey. Of course it is. Because they always got to do me dirty like that. That's okay. I'm still seven under. That's three bogeys, though. That's more bogeys than I'd like to get. Porsche reporter, John standing by. 
I'm over on the final hole, and Sergio Garcia sets up his next shot. Oh, beautiful. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. I want to push it, though. To go, Luke. I know who I like. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That should be perfect. Little quick. Time to take a look at Ian Poulter from earlier. Simply amazing what he does from here. That's a weird angle on that. Holy. Oh, that's a sensational moment. Mark, that Can't even see him. <laughs> That was a pretty brilliant shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. Second shot here on the 17th. That should do nicely, I think. A little slow, actually. If I was faster, but see, I backed off a lot and it still got me pretty far. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Butting for birdie. That should be a dicey one. Ooh, I'm actually not far off. Probably could extend the shot a little and it'll drop down a little more, but that looks pretty good. Oh, yes. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Eight under There's is my bay. That's the one we seem to hold a lot. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. And now that finds him in first place. I love it. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Don't go too far. I've done that before. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Solid drive. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Well, that was absolutely met. Great strike. That's perfect. All right, that should... Ooh, it's curving quite a lot. Let's stay on the fairway, please. It might go into the rough. Nope. Good bounce. No, wait, stop, 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 stop. We don't want it to go down that little hill there. And here we are with the third shot. Dude, get an eagle right now. I don't know if it's possible based on the curvature. Let me give that a go. That might be too much, actually. Oh, God. Yeah, it was rubbish. Stop there. That, that'll take... I'll take that, because... Well, a very good it is a little this slant. And this is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. Well, there you there go, man. Is. What a wonderful win, Rich. Absolutely. What a performance all week long. I'll take it. Nine top. under? Hell yeah. Love watching that guy play. I just had to hold it. I'm not making my sponsors though. That's what sucks about that Rich, one. Plus I think ten. You earlier that this player was your favorite. Well picked. Achievement unlocked. Well, listen, I, it's not a hard pick, is it? This player has consistently been there all season long. There's no reason why not to pick them to win. They just make me look smart. That's about it. No new levels. Well, However, concludes our coverage. Jim, I beat his. I beat. I beat the rival. My best hole is. Oh, I didn't get an eagle. My best hole is one under. Dude, I got an eagle at one point. That's not true. Whatever. We still beat him. You have won your rivalry with Jim Furyk. We got a new hat. So we're gonna start putting some clothes on. Ian Pol Polter or Pol it's Polter, right? He's the Brit. See, I didn't get it. Two rounds with no bogeys are worse. Unfortunately, I got a little bit. I did. So I guess I didn't piss them off too much. The win is pretty important. If we're flying their flag, I think they'll be pretty psyched about that. Alright, so what we're going to be doing then... 
Green Hill Classic is up next at Pearl Mountain Golf Club. So we're going to go ahead, ladies and gentlemen, and split this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like, follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash DanQ8000, Twitter at DanQ8000, Instagram at DanQ8000, and Snapchat DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save time, send me next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. Also, there is an invite link to my Discord server. Go ahead and join it. It's in the description. Uh, also, if you're shopping at the Epic Games store, be sure to use my creator code, DanQ8K. Uh, that one does help out a lot as well. And uh, finally, if you want to sign up, become a DanQ8000 member. Link in the description. Also, a join button below the video. If you sign up for that, you get exclusive perks, such as a badge by your name, emojis to use in the chat. Uh, first priority in open lobbies that I do, private videos only you'll be able to see, and of course the monthly game giveaway you'll be entered in. It does help with the page a lot, you get all those cool perks, and I really appreciate it. All right guys, thank you so much again. Take care, have a great day, I'll be seeing you soon for more, but then, until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, on these violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style, Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving by your back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to Bed intruder, got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.